the work of Russell, Walter Russell, has eluded any experimental support, and the work of Keeley is generally not reproducible. Science is about reproducibility. I can have the most brilliant, crazy, fun idea ever, and if I perform an experiment and no one else can duplicate that experiment, it belongs in the trash heap. It's me in my own world, thinking I have landed on an objective truth, when in fact I haven't. That's how science works, the reproducibility of results. As for the work of Tesla, much of it had very real value to physics and our understanding of electromagnetism. And that value is duly recognized by my community in the naming of a unit of electromagnetism after him. You can't get more badass than having a unit named after you. Newton has a unit named after him. For example, the metric unit of force is a Newton. Much of the rest of his work was fringe and unrealized, either for violating known laws of physics or for being simply impractical. Just because you do some good stuff doesn't mean everything you ever did is gonna be great. I will further affirm that just because an idea sounds crazy doesn't make it wrong. The system of research and publications in peer-reviewed journals has the capacity to spot crazy but true ideas, provided they're supporting by compelling arguments and ultimately supported by experiments and observations. 